Hello everyone. Let's now talk about a lesser known but fascinating part of the brain, the epithalamus. It may not get as much attention as hypothalamus and thalamus, but it plays a critical role in regulating biological rhythms, mood, and responses to pain and stress. So, what is epithalamus? So, the epithalamus is the part of the diencephalon and sits on the posterior end and superior aspect of the thalamus. It includes four key structures what you can see over here. The pineal gland, the habenula, the habenular commissure and stria medullaris. So all these are the four components of the epithalamus. So first let me talk about one by one. First let me talk about the pineal gland over here. The pineal gland is also called as the pineal body. It's named after its pine cone shape. So this gland is composed of a specialized neurons called as pinealocytes. And these pinealocytes have the endocrine function, meaning they secrete hormones. And what's the most important hormone here? Melatonin, which is secreted by the pineal gland, that is by the pinealocytes. Melatonin is synthesized from tryptophan and its production follows a circadian rhythm. That is, it rises at night and falls during a day. But how does it know when it is night? So, well, it receives indirect input from the retina, especially from the suprachiasmatic nucleus, which as you know, is the master clock of the brain. So, essentially, light signals get interpreted by the suprachiasmatic nucleus, which then influences melatonin release from the pineal gland. This is how the sleep-wake cycle is regulated. So, let me give you a small clinical note over here. The pineal gland often calcifies with age, beginning in early adulthood. But this is a physiological change, but not pathological. On imaging, it appears as corpora arenacea. It's also called as brain sand. However, tumors like pinealomas can disrupt this gland function and may present with symptoms like uh, precocious puberty or hydrocephalus depending on their size as well as location. So these are the important points what you need to know about the pineal gland. Next second component of the epithalamus is the habenula. So this habenula is a small paired structure that connects the pineal gland to the thalamus. So it contains habenular nucleus, which plays an important role in processing of emotional and sensory signals. So the habenula receives input mainly through the stria medullaris and it projects to the tegmental structures which are present in the midbrain. So based on this, what does it do? So based on this pathway, it mainly modulates nociception. That is the perception of the pain. It modulates the stress response, sleep-wake cycle, mood regulation and also the reproductive behavior. Now, even in this particular habenula, let me talk about uh, a clinical note. So, the recent research shows that reduced volume of habenula has been associated with mood disorders, especially major depressive disorder. So, as this tiny nucleus has a big emotional impact. Next is third component which is called as habenular commissure. So, whenever we call it as commissure, we know that it is a fiber bundle. So, this habenular commissure is a fiber bundle that connects the left and right habenular nuclei. So, it serves as a bridge between both sides of the epithalamus and allows bilateral communication. Just like a pineal gland, this habenular commissure can also undergo physiological calcification, which is commonly seen on imaging, but is usually of no clinical concern. Now, next one is the stria medullaris. So, finally, we have the stria medullaris, the final component of the epithalamus, so which is a white matter fiber tract that runs along the dorsal surface of the thalamus forming a visible ridge. 
So it serves as a main afferent pathway to the habenula. So it receives inputs mainly from the anterior perforated substance, the thalamus and hypothalamus and it transmits that information directly to the habenular nuclei. So essentially this tract acts as a bridge between the limbic system and the epithalamus playing a role in emotional behavior and reward based decision making. So all these are the components of epithalamus. So finally before we conclude this topic guys let me have a quick recap. So we have the four main components of the epithalamus. One is the pineal gland produces melatonin, it regulates sleep and often calcifies with age. Second is the habenula which modulates pain, mood, sleep and reproductive behavior. Habenular commission connects both habenula, it often calcified, it is also physiological. And the final component is the stria medullaris. So this stria medullaris connects the limbic system to the habenula, integrates emotion with physiology. So together these structures form the epithalamus, a brain region that links light, emotion, pain and behavior through both neural and hormonal pathways. So by this we have completed the anatomical aspects of the epithalamus.